For the past two decades, one characteristic has bound Heat teams of past with present. It is repeatedly preached and relentlessly practiced. Oh, that's it. That's it. Hands, hands. The DNA of this franchise is rooted in and defined by a dedication to defense. The consistency of this commitment has been handed down, almost dictated to the disciples and custodians of its care as a defensive discipline. It is a blueprint for success embraced by coaches and players who are given no choice but to accept this fact that this is how Heat teams will play. Heat history is littered with a litany of players who have made their mark as defenders first, both on the perimeter and in the paint. Child. Terry leans in. Morning with a block. He sent it out of bounds. Cross court pass to Green. Green blocked by Boss. Game over. While the faces that have defined the defense have changed over time, the identity that connects them all remains unshaken and unaltered. The challenge facing this Heat team is to uphold not just tradition, but the tenets of a franchise philosophy. Obviously, defense is, you know, a lot of people like to say, it's effort. Um, and that's, that's probably true. But uh, I don't think that's it with this team. And I don't think it's the effort part. I think a lot of it is just, you know, really you know, getting that, continue to get that trust, continue to learn um, the defense. We got a lot of guys that's new in the defense. So it's just about continuing to keep learning, uh, continuing to keep talking, communicating, uh, to, to eventually get better with it. While it remains too early to cast a final verdict, the basic truth is simple if sustained success is sought. The commitment to contain must improve. For on this court, the defense never rests. You know, if we say the same things, do the same things, we're going to get the same results. Um, and that's what we've gotten. Uh, we've gotten 500 basketball because we're doing the same, the same things, which it was cool in the beginning. We're, we're, we've played a few games now, and that's not working like we'd like it. Yeah, there's no shortcuts to it. Uh, and you can't hide. So we have to... Uh, continue to work at it, commit to it. Uh, we understand what the issue is, uh, and we have to get better at it. You gotta win games. I don't care how good you play or how bad you play. You just gotta find a way to win. You know, you can play well and lose. You can play bad and win. You know, so it, for this team, it's all about uh, the bottom line. The bottom line is finding ways to win. I don't care if it's pretty, if it's ugly. You just want to come out on the winning side. We deserve our record, which is something and something. Ten and nine, and who cares? So. Whatever that gets you. It is time for Miami Heat basketball on Sun Sports. Back home on the western shore of Biscayne Bay, but only for one night. A nine-day, five-game road trip begins on the morrow, but tonight, a chance to get better against a good division team. The Hawks in fresh off a win last night over the Celtics of this matchup. And Crotty, Dwayne Wade was really doing all he could to really create that surge in the winning direction. Early. Attacking the rim, D. Wade style. Look at the hard cut to the basket. Rio, one of his 11 assists. 28 points in all for Wade. Then Chalmers, fast break. For a few of his 19 points. And then in the corner. Trifecta, you betcha. Bosch was perfect for three. How about that? Three for three. And then Millsap. 14 points. That old man, a little leaner right there. Getting it done. Cephalosha, nice addition for them. Off the bench, fast break. Sploosh, sploosh. He had seven points. And then your guy, you brought him up. Teague, there's a floater. This is just tough. That is a giant killer right there. That little teardrop over the shot blocker. And Schroeder showing his uh, ball handling prowess there on the driving kick to Mack. 15-5 run right there, and landed up 88 to 72. And then Bosch being Bosch early in the fourth quarter, John. Yeah, Bosch really doing a good job getting his hands ready, catch that pass. Nothing soft, attacking the rim for that crusher. And then the bullet right there on his hands. Nice fire out of Rio right there. Bosch hit nine of 12, and then. Number 16 all time right there, tied with G Money, Glenn Rice. That is a quick release. And Teague started raining some threes down as well. That's when the backcourt uh, really put it on Miami, trying to keep it, uh, you know, in that 16 plus point deficit. I feel you, Spock. I feel you. 
Take a peek right there. That is a game summary that's leaning in the direction of the Atlanta Hawks as they shot 54% from the floor tonight on way to victory. As for Dwayne Wade, the Heat's leading scorer, his thoughts now on this ninth defeat and 18 trips to the floor. You know, solid minutes in whatever role it is because so many good things are happening. He's drawn the defense with his ability to make plays off the dribble. Look at the way here, he little hesitation, freezes the defense and is scoring. He had 19 points, he had 11 assists. Um, you know, his overall um, attack mode off the dribble, I thought, really helped the Heat stay engaged on this game when, when things weren't going well at times when they were having too many turnovers. He was able to make a play that kind of got them back in. It got them a high percentage shot. Uh, Rio continues to have a great season, uh, both handling, again, you know, distributing to his teammates and being able to finish a good game for him. And also, I love the way he's getting to the free throw line, Jax. Eight for eight from the free throw line to go along. Uh, uh, check that seven of nine from the free throw line to go along with that super efficient shooting from the field. John Crotty, that's enough. If those two are going to give you that, that should be enough. Usually, yeah. yeah. But defensively, just not enough. Well, defensively breaking down and then the 19 turnovers, you know, tying a season high and giving up 23 points off those turnovers, those, those really hurt. Four. 10 point victory for Atlanta, 112 102. If you'd like to catch tonight's game action, tune in. Once again at midnight, tomorrow at noon as we replay all of tonight's action presented by your South Florida Honda dealers. This has been a presentation of Sun Sports, your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball. For Eric Reed, the coach Tony Fiorentino, as well as Christian Hewitt, Ron Rothstein, and John Crotty, I am Jason Jackson. Thanks for watching. Good night, South Florida. See you from the road. Here's the final tip. Shampoo, proudly presented to you. Rocket stages like the boulder.